Windows nowadays is dog shit, admittedly. I mean, like, look at this shit. I just did a fresh install of Windows and it's already trying to get me to sign up for all their cloud services and other bullshit. And then you also see this learn about this picture button and all this other bullshit. They have Copilot. They pre-install Outlook. They actually have Microsoft Teams auto-install and it runs every time I start the computer. And they also force you to use OneDrive. Uh, glad to see they don't pre-install Candy Crush and TikTok anymore, but still, they still got Solitaire, LinkedIn, and like all this other garbage that I don't fucking want. A PDF X, PDF Editor, and PDF Reader. Easy PDF edits for free. I really don't think they remember that Microsoft Edge actually has a built-in PDF reader. Speaking of Microsoft Edge, the browser that you can never fucking get rid of. Nobody uses Edge. Literally nobody uses Edge willingly, I bet. So, like, you you open Edge, you download a different browser, probably Chrome, and then you just never touch Edge again. I want it gone. I don't want it there. Microsoft loves to put all this bloat and extra garbage into your system. Wouldn't it be nice to get rid of it? Have just a completely clean, empty Windows install? I showed this off with Enterprise G, but even Enterprise G had its flaws. So then I showed this off using, you know, all these tools manually, actually manually doing it, but it takes like 30 minutes, an hour, maybe even two hours straight of configuring and doing all that bullshit just to get your system the way you want. Can, and that's fucking annoying. You really think I want to have to do that every time I install a Windows system? I mean, I have to, but I don't want to. So we're sick and tired of this bullshit, uh, and so I we have been working on a tool, we as in Raven, the group that I'm involved in, and we have been creating a tool called Talon. And this tool is essentially a sync, you click it, you run it as an administrator, you wait like five minutes, and then your system's just good to go. And uh, it's not ready yet, it's not for public re release yet, but the point of showing it off in this video is I want your feedback. I'm going to show it off in this video, I'm going to show off what we have so far, and I want to see what criticisms you guys may have, what thoughts you guys may have, what not. Just keep in mind that this tool is not for power users. Or, well, it can be used by power users for sure, but I am designing this so that even my fucking grandma, who can barely operate the fucking photo app on her phone, can actually use this tool too. I want this tool to be as usable as possible by as many people as possible, no matter what their level of expertise is in computers. I want them to, because I feel like uh, most people, very first thing they do on a Windows computer is they go download Chrome and then they run Chrome. I would much rather, when people first get their computer, they open up Edge, they download this tool, and then they run it. So that way they can get their whole system the way they want, and so that they don't have to deal with that bullshit. Basically, I just want this to be as easy as possible. So please just keep that in mind. Don't recommend any super crazy bullshit. I don't want to have to check box a million options either. Microsoft or Windows Defender to go fuck itself with the protection because it really is a pain in the ass with this. Uh, you do need to turn off Defender, but that's mainly just because we're small developers. It's not like we're big ass developers or anything. We're not a whole company or anything. And so when Windows sees this random ass executable file, they're like, what the hell is this? Uh, and then they get suspicious, which, you know, is fair enough. But And also because, I mean, this thing is doing so much crap to your system that windows would is reasonably you know cautious about it it's understandable so anyways i'm just gonna show this tool off real quick my hard drive is having a heart attack so the speed of this tool starting up legitimately has nothing to do with the application itself i'm just running on a really shitty hard drive <laughs> you know it's actually funny they used an hd they used an hdd cable on an ssd which I'm pretty sure is the bottleneck. Well, anyways, so you open it up, then you get this screen. You see, what will this device be used for? Now, the bare bones install is the one that most people will probably click because it's the most baseline one. All it does is give you a browser, media player, 7-zip because it's basically essential in paint.net, so you have some kind of photo editor. And uh, it does give you baseline Raven apps. So whenever it gives you base Raven apps, it's referring to things like Scratchpad, whatnot, which, if you don't know, are just like our better versions of of Notepad and stuff, because uh, Microsoft is trying to integrate AI into as much shit on the system as possible. They even are trying to implement AI into Notepad. And so we're just getting sick and tired of this shit, so we made our own Notepad and other stuff like that. So that's what it means by that. And then a gaming profile. Every profile 
is the exact same, essentially. The only difference is, is the pre-installed software. So you can pretty obviously tell that this profile is basically just designed for me. <laughs> and then this one is designed for people who do professional work, maybe more technical maybe more technical work but that's professionally focused so get visual studio vs codium stuff like that's already here you may see student so you know obviously google drive because i feel like a lot of schools and students use google drive uh you'll also see for gaming there's obviously there's even an emulator but there's music there's minecraft launcher there's all that stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, show off the bare bones install you will get this notice it basically just says turn off defender and also this will do a lot to your system, be warned. So, uh, now you may notice all these messages right here, all of this text right here that'll change a lot and stuff. This is for debugging purposes, obviously. This most likely is not going to be in the final version. And if it is going to be in the final version, then the messages are obviously going to be changed to be more clear for someone who's not super tech savvy. Uh, don't be fooled by it saying task completed right now. It's not finished. It, you may actually even see, yeah, it's running in the background. So this is the first issue with the program currently. Uh, we do need to actually make all the process of actually doing all this stuff run on a separate f thread from the UI. You don't have to be technically inclined to really understand that, I think. Basically, just we need the UI to run separately from all the background process stuff which currently it's not because multi-threading is a bitch and a half for any of you technical viewers. Uh, but as you can see, this is this is still the virtual machine that I'm in. You can see it's actively getting rid of icons right now. And you can actually see it made our taskbar left aligned. It made our taskbar black. And uh, it's, it's doing a couple things here. It is actively gutting the system of apps. So one thing is we didn't want to reinvent the wheel. Obviously, we're not going to make tools that compete with the other many open source tools out there. If you watched my video called Making Windows Great Again, then you probably remember me showing off tools like Chris Titus's WinUtil and uh, other tools like that. So we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We, we actually, this tool uses CCT WinUtil and other tools like it in the background. We j so so I just want to make sure that credit is given where credit's due. All we did was just make the fancy, simple front end to all this stuff uh, to try to make it as user friendly as possible. In reality, what's going on in the background is stuff made by other open source developers and all that. So it is really cool uh, because we feel like everything. It, I especially feel like everything is there to make a tool like this happen, but just no one has done it yet. So we wanted to be the people to do it, and this is our take on it. So you can see actually CCT WinUtil is actually open in the background right now. During this install process, you can press the Windows key and see your taskbar and stuff and actually look at what it's doing. This is not a flaw. This ain't a bug. It's a feature. We wanted this just in case if anyone was curious, because obviously, you know, this is pretty... I the the design of this is pretty locked down the fact that it's like covering your screen and all that but we felt it was easiest to make it as user friendly as possible because another problem with a lot of these open source tools is when you see all these windows go and all this crazy shit going on on your computer obviously that's not nearly as user friendly as just a simple clean interface where it says installing and it's just leaving messages we probably should have like some kind of spinner or something huh like a loading bar maybe um but you can see it's using this application in the back end to run CCT WinUtil. And CCT WinUtil, thankfully, because Chris Titus is a god level developer, he actually does have an automated, a way to automate uh, via the command line using CCT WinUtil, which this tool does. You see, I understand that not everyone wants to open up a fucking terminal and run all these big crazy commands. I don't either, honestly. Uh, and I know damn well that most people don't even know what a command prompt is. So <laughs> that's why, you know, obviously we want this tool to be just a single exe file. You download it, you run it, just works. Every All of the complex stuff going on in the background, don't even worry about it. Just let it cook and then you're good. You know, you don't even got to worry about any of that stuff going on. We're trying to make this as headache-free as possible because... 
I mean, I'm tired of having to do all that shit to a Windows system just to make it the way I want. And I know that so many other people are too. I feel like there's an open market right now for these kinds of tools because on the proprietary side of tools like this, I, f I mean, obviously a, it's proprietary and likely costs money and a lot of the features are bullshit and it just sucks. But then on the open source side, all of these tools are catered to like technical minded people and people who want to sit there and spend all their time checking boxes and doing all this shit. But then there's no just simple in the middle for anyone who doesn't want to deal with that bullshit. So that's what this is. Uh, I actually, it's kind of funny. I was joking about it with, uh, the other members of Raven. Like I'm making this out of selfish desire. Really? I'm not even making this so much for you guys. It's mainly because I'm just sick and tired of having to do this shit with a windows computer every time. So I'm automating the process completely getting the system the way I want it. Like even that expert profile there, like that's pretty much just specifically for me. <laughs> and then after, you know, I, I can just run this tool and be done with it. And of course, obviously, I see no reason why not to just make this tool available for everyone else. And so, there you go. And the installation is complete. Now, normally, I would have it... We would have it restart your computer by now. But uh, for the sake of development purposes and stuff, we don't have it do that. So, obviously, when your computer resets, you're not going to see all this shit. Uh, this shit would be gone. So, let me just get it out of the way manually. So, as you can see, there are still links to Microsoft Edge. Do not worry, though. They aren't, they, the file doesn't exist. Oh, well. Huh. Edge is still here. Well, <laughs> obviously, we got to iron out the kinks, I think. But, I would say this is a lot better than it was. This is only what we have now. And you can see... It did give us this fresh new background, which I think looks much nicer. We got the black taskbar and everything. It does still have Outlook, and it does still have Microsoft Store. Obviously, need to get rid of those. LinkedIn being here, I believe this is actually just a web link, basically. We do need to get rid of those. So as you can see, it's not perfect, but this is definitely a step up. It definitely cleaned out a lot of the garbage out of here. So Outlook, Microsoft Store, maybe not completely get rid of Microsoft Store, but at least unpin it from the taskbar here. I mean, come on. And then get rid of LinkedIn. And uh, we'd probably want to get rid of Paint also. However, I mean, this is what it's like. This is the tool we have been working on for quite a while. I have been teasing a big announcement for a while, and this is it. We've... I've been complaining for so long about how shit Windows is, and uh, I've been trying my best to come up with ways to work around it, and honestly, this is my magnum opus. This is the ultimate form of what I've been trying to build to for so long, because the more I made videos talking about how to debloat Windows, the more and more I got tired of that shit, and the more I realized how tiresome it is to do all that shit manually, so... Let's automate it. If you have any feedback, let me know. If you have any advice, uh, anything like that. So we can actually see that this is stuff that we clearly need to work on. It didn't clear the taskbar icons. So normally it's meant to clear the taskbar icons, you know, of all this shit. But it doesn't have, it has insufficient permissions because shutil is not imported. Okay. So that, I, this is fixable. This is a stupid mistake made by me because I'm a really good developer, guys. <laughs> and you can see, yeah, so a lot of that failed. So that explains it. <clears throat> so a lot of the reason why these icons are still here is because they're of a simple mistake in the code that I can correct. Okay, so that's not the worst. I do wonder why Edge didn't uninstall. I am curious about that. So, it did run the Windows tweaks to remove Edge, but it didn't work. And I actually think... I actually think the last time I ever showed CCT WinUtil on this channel, the Windows... the, the Microsoft Edge removal didn't work either on CCT when util so I think we just need to find an alternative to that but this is what we got so far let me know what you think that's about it <laughs> excited for when this releases I'll, I'll make more you know posts and stuff I'll probably make a more official video showing this off in its fine in its final form 
eventually, but this is kind of just a devlog here, you know, so let me know what you guys think. See ya.